<clears throat> Hello there, my name is Christopher Messer and I will be doing a face painting demonstration today. The first thing that you need to do when doing a face paint is to have proper seating for your person that you're painting. You want to make sure that they're sitting down and that they're comfortable, relaxed, and at a level that you can comfortably work on their face or body. And you want them to be sitting because they tend to sway back and forth if they're standing and especially little kids tend to move around a lot. So they're low, <laughs> uh, you know, to the ground and it's easier for you as a face painter or a body artist to have them on an elevated chair or a stool at your level so you could work on them easier. When face painting, you'll want to use a fan brush, a round brush, and if you choose to, this flat tip, just to give you different designs. So, we have a palette, anything can do. Um, I'm using a piece of oak wood that was cut for me, <laughs> custom by hand, and For our paint today, we're going to be using a basic acrylic, which is great because you can apply just a small amount of the acrylic to the skin and you will see a very thick, opaque, uh, bright color, um, as opposed to something that is water-based that will give you a translucent, uh, runny kind of look to it. So you just need a little bit of paint. that should do and I do a traditional indigenous Native American inspired look where I will just do simple dots and lines and I'll just follow the outside contour of the eye socket light dots that come up around the eye, like so. And then you can switch to another color for a design underneath. And the colors that you choose are dependent on you, but it's suggested that you find a nice color to match the clothing or something that the person that you're painting has on. In this case we have this white with green to match the light colors and the green of the dress. So it kind of has that seamless flow like it's meant to be there. Next we'll put just ooh, a little bit of purple on to match the purple on her dress. And here is where we're going to make things a little bit tricky. So what I like to do and what I found that works best for me is to take the fan brush and start with your base white and just kind of spread that out and work that down. Kind of work it like this. So you, you have a nice even distribution of paint on your brush. And then you're going to dip it in either one color or you could dip it in two colors. And we're not, and at this point we're not going to brush. We're going to just apply the paint very gently, very light. And we're just going to, we're just going to with the tip of the brush, very gently touch and push out. Could you hold your hair back for me? So I don't, yeah. And we're going to come around like this. Just like that. So you can choose to be asymmetrical or symmetrical, one side or both. It's up to you. 
but you should always carry a small inexpensive mirror for you to hand what do you think i love it you love it it looks really really cool and it matches your dress it really does i almost don't want to take it off <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so and that is how you do a traditional and now you can obviously do any style you want if say you wanted to do just little But what I find is just dipping your paintbrush in and just applying, not actually brushing, but you're just using this to dab the paint onto the skin, which will give you a nice, thick, even, and sometimes a nice repeating pattern. But you'll have a thick, just like that. And you can layer your colors just like that. And you can keep layering. And as the layers come off on the skin, the bottom layers will be revealed. Just like so. So we'll give that a minute to dry and it'll take about between three and five minutes depending on the temperature that you're painting in, the humidity. And once it's dry, uh, it can easily just be wiped right off. So we're going to take a minute and we'll be back. Okay, next up, we'll, I'll be showing you acrylic makeup removal. Now. If you've painted your person with acrylic makeup, like I have, and you've let it properly dry, once it's dry, it forms into sort of like a plastic. Uh, that's what acrylic is. So at this point, you can just simply wipe it right off. I'm using a dry rag. still a little bit wet there but well as you can see we weren't fully dry but the spots that were dry you can see that they just come right off so it'll just it'll just simply peel once dry and if it is a little bit wet like this you can use a little bit of soap and water um, a baby wipe, um, anything will really do, and it'll simply just Ooh, it is very humid out here today. <laughs> Doing okay? Mm -hmm. I put this on a little thick too. I promise you, if you let it fully dry, it comes off a lot easier than that. But there you have it. Nice and clean, easy to clean up. And you're ready to go. You're ready to go to work. Okay, and now we're back for the second part of our face painting demonstration. Um, this is the part of the demonstration that I'm gonna call the more advanced um, 
intermediate painting. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy airbrush. Um, this airbrush in particular has um, a color dial, a color wheel for you to choose multiple colors from. Um, makes for easy cleanup, allows for a blending of the colors. If you wanna, if you're in between blue and green, you could have a nice um, sea foam. Uh, if you're in between red and blue, you can get a dark purple. Um, I, my personal favorite is white and orange. It makes for like a peachish kind of pinky color. And um, what's great about this paint is it's an alcohol-based paint that allows you to apply this paint in almost any situation, any condition. Um, I'm using Pro Air alcohol-based paint. It's waterproof, smudge-proof, it dries quickly, it can last up to three days. Um, I've seen in certain circumstances, uh, since it's waterproof, people have showered with it and left it on their body for up to a week and still remains, you know, exactly how, how it looked when I, when the paint was applied. So, well, but if you want the paint to be removed, um, since it's alcohol based paint, um, a baby wipe. Um, any kind of like liquid soap and water and a washcloth. Um, I use rubbing alcohol, which nowadays is a little hard to come by, but pre-virus, um, you could get 91% um, alcohol. It wipes right off, much easier than uh, wet acrylic. So um, I could probably give a, let's see. So for the for the removal, you would just simply take your washcloth and voila. Easily removed. So what I like to use is this Pro Air Solids, which is a color palette that's kind of looks, it resembles watercolor, like a watercolor kind of cake palette, but you need to use the, the alcohol in order to activate it. Because this paint is waterproof, if you try and put water on it, you're going to get nowhere. You're going to have a bad time. So I get my, get that in there. You got to work it around a little bit, get it nice and soft. And and you just simply brush it right on. Really easy. It paints just like watercolor. If you have too much rubbing alcohol on your brush, you will get drippage and runnage. So you need to make sure that you wipe off the excess. You paint this on. And what's beautiful about this paint is you can put down layers of it just like you can with watercolor. So if you lay down a yellow like this, you could lay an orange glaze right on top of it. It makes it look really nice. You really have to work this alcohol into this cake to get it nice and pliable and workable. And then you can just brush right on. And like I said, this is waterproof, it's sweatproof. If you wanted to go to a water park, if you wanted to go swimming, you want to go to the beach, as long as you don't rub the paint while it's wet, tap it to dry when you come out of the pool, the shower, the beach, whatever. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to take our pattern. You can make your own stencils at home. 
You can buy them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You can find them on Etsy. This particular design I found on Etsy, it was a laser cut uh, Mylar. So, oh. now, you don't have to since the paint is skin safe. But me personally, I like to wear gloves. Um, but because of the virus, gloves are a little hard to come by. So I'm not gonna waste another pair of gloves for this demo. I'll just wash my hands. If I was painting a group of people and my hands were gonna be a little dirty afterwards, then I'd have some gloves on. But it's your choice. You don't have to wear gloves. Personally, I like to wear them to keep, keep for an easy cleanup. Maybe I'm hungry afterwards. And there you go. You have a nice solid looking design, a nice pattern. It's gonna last. So if you want this to really last and you don't want this to go away, um, Pro Air sells what's called um, a Prolong. And this is also something that can be used to activate the cake the, that you would brush on. And normally I will keep this on a, in a pump sprayer. Um, you can keep it in, you can put it in the airbrush and spray it on, or you can pump spray it. And what it's going to do is it's going to apply a solid clear coat that's going to protect this and um, will allow you, you know, some moderate rubbing if, if you know, your clothes are on or if you happen to touch it, or if you, know, if you have paint on the arms or the hands that you, you want to, to remain durable. So we'll add that there. And I think we can get away with adding a little bit more of a design to this yellow. So I'm gonna choose these stars because our lovely model, Victoria, mentioned that she likes stars and we want to make our customers happy. So, very uniform, asymmetrical. We put some stars on each side so they're shooting out and I think it looks great. Put one down here. And we're good. So, next what we'll do is using airbrush only Sometimes the colors uh, stick if you don't if you don't use them. My uh, paint's been sitting since March. <laughs> so, all right. So what I'm going to do now is. Using my airbrush, we're just going to apply a nice base coat. that dry <clears throat> and hmm
but we're just gonna put our stencil design right here I'm following right around the eye socket and I'm just gonna brush real lightly just a nice very light coat don't spray the eyes but follow the contour of the eye socket and make sure that you keep your stencil flush against the skin in order to maintain that sharp line and then when you pull off you should have something like this and to round out the edges and the corners you use a second design that will give this whole thing a nice little shape and then you just follow the edges of the stencil careful not to overlap the pattern that you just laid down so you have something like that that'll finish off right there and and voila and there you go there's your design it looks good it's waterproof can see it. you can see it i thought you had the f oh there you go oh that looks really cool yeah and it matches awesome. yep matches your chest so what we can do if we wanted to take this a step further is we could put another layer on top of the purple to have the purple really stand out and I like to add white as long as I can get my white to work and I like to do this because the white will give a nice, a nice shadowy contrast to the purple so and we've got the white working everything's unclogged working beautifully and we're going to apply some white paint hope this is going to be All right. Sometimes we encounter some technical difficulties. Just gotta roll through them. So, very carefully lay your stencil down and cover your pattern. Now, here's where it doesn't need to be perfect. You can be off-centered just a little bit and it's a good thing because it'll create a shadow and it'll give your stencil a three-dimensional sort of look. Voila, <laughs> like so. And you can come back with our secondary pattern and same with that. We are going to lay this down we give a spray around it and we'll give one here and we'll come here and we'll fill this in like that and up at the top we finish off like so and if you so desire and you feel like you want to add a little bit more yeah looking good looking good yeah we're happy good well mission accomplished there we go so now for this other side what we'll do is i'll show you how our white on purple will look.
And for this, I'm just going to do a little bit. I want to keep it subtle as not to pull away from the other side, the design. So we're just going to do this little bit like that. And then we're going to switch to our purple. Oops, and drop the microphone. And and drop the microphone, yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. All right. Getting a little tangled up. All right, and again, we will lay the stencil down. We'll try and get as close as we can. Oops, to matching this. And a little bit of purple on top. And there you go. And we're done. You can keep that on your face for the rest of the quarantine if you like. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> I mean, definitely be sitting at home. <laughs> so, I hope that you have found this demonstration helpful and it's incitive. And I hope this inspires you to create your own wonderful looking face paint. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Christopher Messer. This model is Victoria. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.